All right, so from, I believe, a couple weeks back, uh, there was a video I made about Ontario, California being, you know, the epicenter for a new indoor football league team. Now, based on some things from both the indoor football forum and arena fan, um, I can say... Um, at least this is this is what this is what uh, some insiders that are probably really close to the league know better than I do, but it could be because of the press release last night, which was awful, by the way, the San Antonio Valor, which is basically uh, the Washington Valor. They, you know, a new ownership group bought those assets decided to relocate the team to San Antonio and then boom, there you have it. So there's San Antonio, the Valor. They're probably going to be in the IFL. There is no way uh, considering the AAL already has a San Antonio team, the Gunslickers or whatever they're called. Um, this is probably an IFL team. This is what's been rumored for months now at least that a San Antonio team was coming to the IFL, but the based on the press release, nobody seems to have heard of this team yet, uh, which is okay. It's okay. I'm just gonna have to make up aware. I guess it'll give Frisco something. And as far as those three um, Roy Choi owned teams go, Cedar Rapids is probably gone. Oakland's dormant for right now and um, San Diego might be gone too. So there's that. And so I think Ontario is probably going to be a replacement for the, at least San Diego with Oakland for the time being. Um, so that'll bring the IFL up to 14 because there's 12 active right now in the league. Um, Oakland's on hiatus, Massachusetts is in, Columbus is not in yet. So that'll bring it up to maybe like 14 or 15 teams for 2021 and a 16 game schedule for 2021 and everything like that because based on the press release, um, the IFL is going to start in mid-March. The schedule, also based on what I've heard, will be out within the next two weeks or so. So there's that as well. Everything's not finalized and stuff yet. Everything's still, you know, rumors at this point because the, uh, I mean, the San Antonio press release was just bad. It was really, really bad. It didn't really say anything. It was just being vague. And I looked at it, looked at it over twice, three times, four times, and it just did not, it was not good at all. The other thing that's big is that the Albany Empire are back in the NAL. They are back to playing Football Times Union Center up there in Albany, New York. So it'll be the Empire, won't be the Firebirds or anything like that, which was trademarked and everything. Uh, that's not happening. So it'll be the Empire, who last time we checked won the last AFL championship a couple of years back. So, and in AL. Uh, as far as the as far as the league goes, it's not looking pretty healthy right now. You know the IFL is looking pretty nice. I mean they got teams you know scattered in, you know, all across the United States, especially in the Midwest and the West, of course. And the NAL is out in the East, East Coast. Um, the NAL is pretty much on life support. They've always been on life support. Um, but it's just been desperation attempt after desperation attempt. So I think the Albany team name, and plus bringing back, you know, Albany's coaches and stuff like that, like Rob Keith, um, you know, it should solidify some things, you know, of course, it'll be Albany, Jacksonville, uh, Carolina, Columbus. I think those four will, you know, do fine. Um, but West Virginia is kind of a... Um, out there right now because Fornario's thinking of selling the team. I don't know where he's going to sell the team and stuff like that. And then the other three teams are just not good. 
Well, I mean, Orlando has got to do ownership group, but I'm talking about those three teams from, oh, yeah, Jersey Flight. The Jersey Flight are in here, too. But they also have somebody new. But those other two teams, Louisville and Tampa Bay, uh, probably shouldn't even be in the league because they haven't even played a game. And they were AAL teams, and you know you can't trust the AAL. So, yeah. But, yeah, there's that. San Antonio is probably going to be an IFL team. Um, Albany's back in the NAL. And the IFL schedule should be out sometime soon. I mean, it's supposed to be out sometime soon anyway. It's, it's getting real close to around that time when the IFL released their schedule. And I know we're all going to be up in arms about that. As soon as, you know, like Arizona plays Tucson like four times or something like that. So with that being said, y'all take care. I'll see you in the next video soon.